As many of you watching the thrilling end to the Falcons Eagles game here on 12 tonight. Football is back. So here's a question for you. Are eSports going to sack high school football when they become a legit sport option in February? Team 12's Mike Gonzalez joins us to take a look at if eSports will have an impact on the high school gridiron. Mike. Hey there, guys. Well, it's a really interesting question, right? The thought of gamers becoming the big men or women on campus as more and more parents are pushing their kids away from contact sports like football because of the dangers of concussions and other severe injuries. Electronic sports, or eSports as they're widely known, are the fastest growing competitive outlet on the planet right now. More than 90% of teens in the U.S. play video games. More than 6 in 10 homes have a gaming system. In Arizona, your son or daughter can soon get in on the action. Esports really kind of ironically <clears throat> is a competitive activity. David Hines, director of the Arizona Interscholastic Association, announcing esports as an emerging activity that begins next February at high schools across Arizona. Tremendous interest in schools on how do we get started, what do we want to do. Hines says there are already 25,000 students gaming at member schools, and the interest in esports is astronomical. But predicting if the rise of esports will be the ultimate demise of a contact sport like football is tricky. A Friday night at Centennial High School in Peoria makes you believe that high school football in Arizona is just as strong as ever. And that's not too far off from the truth. Uh, football uh, in the last oh, eight to ten years has dropped um, about 2,000. Uh, we had um, about eight to ten years ago roughly 22,000 kids playing football. That's about a two percent drop over ten years and on par with nationwide stats. Hines says there are a lot of other factors that contribute to that number including concussion awareness, hot weather, and kids being less active these days but he says overall it's because there's many more sports offered. So we can verify that only time will tell if eSports will take away athletes from football, primarily because it's too early to tell. But there's no question there's going to be a tremendous interest in eSports. So it's not the end of athletics. It's a different way to involve kids at school. The cost of playing eSports will be $50 per season per student to participate. Games will include a three-on-three -three Rocket League and a five-on-five -five League of Legends. Guys, back over to you.